Hi folks, it's Marcus here at Countrywood Smoke HQ and today I've got my neighbour and good friend Dan. Right, Dan, how you doing mate? Hi Marcus, thank you for inviting us along. That's okay. So today, Dan, we're going to cook one of our favourite pizzas. Um, we've cooked this together before and we really enjoy it and it's going to be really good pizza. So we have some andouille here. So this is a spicy spreadable pate like sausage from uh, southern Italy and it's it's really beautiful so when it goes on the pizza and into the, the wood-fired oven it uh, sort of crusts up lovely and releases its beautiful oil so it's our favorite isn't it? It, it is definitely our favorite it's one of those little secrets that we're going to share with you today along with I think Mark you want me to roll out the pizza? Yes please, please? Dan so so Dan and I have got two different uh, methods of doing pizza <laughs> so my method I stretch it and go for a Napoli style and you well I don't stretch my pizza dough uh, I very much prefer to have my pizza dough very very thin very aerated um, and for that I need to use a rolling pin so Marcus is allowing me to show my uh, uh, method with you uh, so I actually I think it works really well with this as well because the the the, um, the induya is um, quite nice and it's soft anyway and so you want a nice bit of snap and it works really well with Absolutely. this way of cooking the pizza so it also on. works incredibly well in in the uni yeah it cooks fantastic. incredibly quickly so uh, with a rolling pin so what we've got here is got a, uh, marcus's dough uh, and um so this is an ov overnight sponge dough and the recipes on on uh, going to be down below fantastic and uh, we've got semolina on here which is going to help so that it doesn't stick to my uh, pin or your pin and the and uh, this board that we're rolling on rolling on I'll move that out of the way for you a minute <clears throat> so the way I, I i roll my pizza dough is do you want uh, to go on here it's probably easier because that board's yeah, if, a bit curved if you yeah. like to there you go fantastic so i i turn mine over every time remembering that uh, with this with all pizza dough it always relaxes afterwards so you have to well i find you have to over roll for it to then to relax later um, everyone loves a round pizza but with this particular method you're never going to get it perfectly round but i think no authentic pizza base is ever exactly round so that's quite a lively dough anyway it's but this has been uh proving for a couple of days and it should be quite nice and relaxed and uh, quite a uh, a relatively easy dough to roll. So. It's, it's also not as sticky as my dough, the dough that I that I make, uh, but I don't prove my dough. No. Uh, it'd be lovely at some point uh, for me to be able to come back and uh, and do the same pizza perhaps, or a different pizza with my dough. Yeah, absolutely. If that's all right, Marcus. We, we've done lots of testing of pizzas and uh, lots of eating of pizzas and drinking oh. of beer and cider. And uh, um, we, yeah, we've, we've got slightly different techniques and I think they're great. And we cook some fantastic pizzas and drink some uh, have some good nights drinking so uh, that's what it's all about it is it, it's the social aspect of eating pizzas um, is see what so it's although all about. you've rolled this it's still got you can see it's still got some lovely air bubbles in so I think that's probably about as thin as we want to go yeah. for this particular pizza with the amount of dough you've given me um, so should we get it on the pill yeah get, well should we check the, the temperature in the uni first that's a good idea Marcus to see what it's running at, make sure it's hot enough. Uh, we've it's got about 350. 350. Yeah. Perfect temperature. So I think we've probably got enough semolina on the uh, on the peat on the on the yeah. dough there for that to go straight on. Do you want to load it on? I will indeed. Okay. There we go. So how does that feel on there? Yeah, that feels That's nice. Excellent. So we have some of my uh, passata mix. So this is uh, passata with uh, pesto mixed in. Ah, oh, that's, that's your famous base. Yeah, I like that. I like that, that too. You don't want to go overboard. I have a secret recipe for mine, which I will divulge next time I come around, Marcus. A secret recipe, that sounds I do. good. It's very good, Your your uh, I think it's your wife's, isn't it? Well, is it I'd like to say it, it, we, we both came up with it. Okay, so it's your wife's then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so got to work quickly, because I don't think pizza should be sat on a peel for long. No. So just a little bit of uh, mozzarella. That's, that's nice, because it adds the string, doesn't it, yeah, to the pizza? Yeah, you need a bit of that, I think. Not too much here, but uh, a little bit of that and some of this lovely andouille so just a few little blobs on there you don't want to go too mad it's very very tasty that it's very spicy as well which is good 
quite like that. So Marcus, if, if someone wanted to buy and do you, where, where would you suggest they could try to get that from? Um, I've got a friend uh, called Mark Dennis, who's down in Cornwall, a uh, Dutchy charcuterie, and he makes probably some of the nicest andouille I've tasted, and that's what we're using today, fantastic. and it's fantastic. So a little bit of mascarpone and the creaminess of the mascarpone. Thank you, Mr. Davis, by the way. <laughs> the creaminess of the mascarpone just uh, blends well with it. So, because because India is quite spicy, isn't it? So yeah. it might just take the edge off the uh, off, off that. Little. Absolutely. So that's it. Fantastic. Um, do you want to pop it in, Dan? I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. You have the honour of doing that. Is that still moving nicely? It's still moving very nicely. There we go. Right, that's gone in there. So that will take now probably Ooh. a minute. If that, absolutely. Yeah. We've got to keep an eye on it in the uni, as I'm sure you all know. It's uh, There's a lot of heat in there. And so all the heat's at that end, isn't it, as well? So absolutely. you need to turn it round, and uh, we shall do that promptly, I guess. Well, let's hope we don't burn this one. Yeah. We're on film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a quick look. Oh, she's starting to look beautiful in there already. Absolutely, fantastic. So maybe another about 10, 15 seconds before we move it. Let's have a clear here. Nice thing about being outdoors, you can chuck it on the floor. Fantastic. There's the peel. Lovely. Okay, I reckon that that's probably time now for our first turn. How's that looking? I think that's looking very nice indeed. So I'm just going to go a quarter of a turn every time. Keeping an eye on it. Uh, this semolina is absolutely amazing uh, for uh, pizza bases. Um, flour, you can use flour, but the thing about flour is it does tend to bind a bit when it gets a little bit damp. Yeah. Whereas semolina doesn't. And it's like almost like ball bearings, and it just allows it to roll off the peel. You don't want too much on there, but just a nice bit of semolina. Right, we're gonna go again. Probably a little bit longer on that side, but it's starting to, to go very nicely there. So this will give a nice crispy uh, base to the pizza, which is what you like, isn't it? So Absolutely. That uh, and also the uh, well, hopefully we'll get a nice aerated base as well so that the base will have lots of air pockets in it um, which is will just add to the flavor right I think we're done there we go that looks fantastic mate that's stunning look at that edge it's beautifully leoparded nice crisp base how's that base look oh yes that looks fantastic mate Happy days. And look at what happened to the, the andouille. The andouille has just gone into a lovely sort of almost like a puddle of meaty and you can see there's Flavor. oil out from it. The mascarpone there. Oh, it's lovely. That's a beautiful pizza, mate. Thank you. you. Be proud of that. So, oh, you can hear the snap as you cut through it. There we go. I think we're, let's have a, shall we dive in? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, I'll let you choose first. Go on, I'll go for this one. And I'll go for that one there. Look at that, lovely. And you can see that mozzarella there, the strings. Oh, it's got a nice base. It has, look at that, beautiful underneath there. Yeah, look at that, perfectly cooked all the way through. And lovely, let's have a. Mm. Oh, oh gosh, that's, that's nice. There's a nice smokiness about the chilli and the, the andouille and um, without a doubt andouille on a pizza is a match made in heaven. And the, it goes so well with the mascarpone because that's got a nice creaminess. Absolutely. And um, yeah that's pretty stunning mate. You mm. could eat a pizza like that all day. On that base. Mm. Lovely and crispy. Yeah. And it's actually got quite a lot of air in it. It's quite light as well. Well, Which, you can see there, there's some air bubbles there. Yeah, I thought, you know, by rolling it out, you'd remove, like, a lot of the air. And, um, actually, it, it's still got a lot of air in it. So, I think I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. And you get a bigger pizza. You do, that's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bonus. That is a fantastic pizza. So, really happy with that, mate. Mm. Thank you. Good job. I think we've nailed that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us for this, uh, this pizza. And hope you've enjoyed it. If you like Countrywood Smoke and you enjoy the videos, then there's a subscribe box down there. 
be really grateful if you could subscribe to my videos and to my channel and uh, yeah hope you enjoy what I do um, leave a comment let me know what you think and it's really appreciated thanks mate we've got another slice here and we've got a bit more dough to have a play with so Fantastic. yeah thank you cheers see you again next time thank you cheers